Now, video number six will return to the face mu facial muscles and try to understand how the face will change if the mimic muscles grow bigger. Athletes work out the muscles of their bodies and gyms, and this drastically changes the shapes of bodies. But how about the mimic muscles? What if the size of mimic muscles grows? This changes human features greatly. Each person is born with his natural level of development of muscles in the whole body, mimic and others. There is a feature, very special one, showing how strong the muscles are developed by birth. It's located below the nose. Here it is. By nature, all muscles of a person are developed with the same level of development. This means that some people are born strong and muscled, while others are born non-muscled and weak. The extent of muscular development can be guessed by the lower edge of nostrils. Please have a look and compare the two photos. Uh, well, here there's a roll. While in this photo, this spot is smooth and this feature, this roll, is absent. Why do some, have, some people have it while others do not have it? Let's see how this roll is formed anatomically. At first, let's examine the bones. Here it is, the lower edge of nostrils and the acantheon. This is the cartilage of the nasal septum. So, uh, And here is the interior stalk of the lower lateral cartilage covered by the skin. Now for the muscles. Here is the muscle that lowers the nasal septum. This muscle starts at the lower jaw, goes upwards and is attached to the skin that covers nasal septum. Above there is a peripheral and part of the or orbital or orbic sorry of uh, above there is a peripheral part of the orbicular mouth muscle and a layer of subskin fat tissue and skin. A person with poorly developed body muscle who's never made the exercises to work out the orbicular mouth muscle will have the accentuated feature like there. In shape of a roll along the lower edge of nostrils. And if a person has well developed body muscles from birth, his orbicular mouth muscle is big and thick 
by itself. So this volume under the skin there is filled with muscles and smoothed and the roll is isn't seen on the surface of the face. So thus the lower edge of nostrils becomes an even surface like there. Let me give some examples. Here are Lucas Leinehine called D. Giraffic and Vladimir Kristovsky. They have a similar shape of bones, nasal cartilages. Proportions and facial features uh, are very similar. For example, shape of eyes and lips. However, Lucas has a roll. under his nostrils, while Vladimir doesn't have it. This spot in Vladimir's face is filled with muscle tissue. This signifies that Vladimir's muscles are naturally better developed by birth than Lucas's. By this I mean all muscles of the body, not only the orbicular mouth muscle. The extent of muscle development is revealed by this feature. And let me give more examples To the left there are people wi with this feature and to the right there are people without it. So the muscular development is maximum uh, and th there are people with this feature. So now you can look at these faces a little bit a little bit closer. So we see this feature. So there is no feature at all. And there there is no feature. And there is the maximal uh, level of development of muscles. So there's no feature too. And yes, there's no feature.